Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs, it's Sebastian Envy, your strong style nerd, strong style cinephile. And I'm happy about some return news. Let's geek about it for a few minutes. First up, okay, this is just going to be a video about the amazing Katie Lotz returning to an upcoming episode of Arrow, but then while clicking around the interwebs, I saw this gem. That's right, Will Smith, out of Suicide Squad 2. I cannot tell you how much that pleases me. I hated his casting in the Suicide Squad. Hated it. I mean, it's just absolutely dis. I did. And I figured it was because the Warner people needed a marquee name to sell the movie, put butts in the seats. I get that. But it doesn't make me like his casting you know, anymore. And I'm not going to get into the debate on race swapping the character. I don't care about that. Just give me good Floyd Lawton. Will Smith was not that. At this point in his career, Will Smith has two modes. Super serious dramatic Will Smith or wise cracking Mike Lowry from Bad Boys Will Smith. There's no in between. There's no medium. There's no range. There's just those two extremes. Now we know he has range. We watched him grow and develop and mature before our very eyes on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and the movies since, both good and iRobot After Earth level bad. But at this point, he's just phoning in his roles, and that's what he did on Suicide Squad, if you ask me. Now, true story, I love the Suicide Squad, absolutely love them. I collect the comics, and I'm working on getting the entire Ostrander run of comics. I love that Task Force X episode of Justice League Unlimited. I love the Suicide Squad on Arrow. I love the animated Suicide Squad films. Heck, I even made a Suicide Squad fan film a few years ago. I love my squad. I didn't even hate the live action movie. I thought it was a little bit too dark in some spots to see the action going on. I thought the CGI boss fight was just dumb and the hula dancing Enchantress was a joke, but the movie had potential. Les Harley, a different Deadshot, I'm all for it. Now this reportedly comes down to a scheduling issue and Will Smith just being busy. Now is that the case or is Smith seeing the DCU for the dumpster fire it became and after Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill bounce from their roles, the issues with the Flash movie development, and the fact that Warner and DC keep announcing movies seemingly with no rhyme or reason and only make some kind of headline as a reason for jumping off a sinking ship? Who knows? All I know is he won't be back, and that makes me ecstatic. Now while Lawton is a favorite squad member usually in the lineup for any squad gathering, there are plenty of other villains that they can mind to use. I mean, give me Bronze Tiger, I say. Another note in the story I read said that Margot Robbie may bow out of the sequel as well. This would make me equally happy. She's already filming Birds of Prey, and will, I guess, be the centerpiece of that annoys me. But hopefully with that and other roles that pop up, there'll be some scheduling issues for her as well. Fingers are crossed, but for now we have the great news that Will Smith is out of the squad sequel and that James Gunn is directing it. James, I took the Guardians of the Freaking Galaxy and killed it at the box office gun. That guy. I cannot wait to see what he has in store for the squad, which is said to be a soft reboot, so I'm ready. Now to the main course of this video meal. Katie Lotz, better known as Sarah Lance on the Arrowverse, is coming back for an upcoming episode of Arrow. I love Katie Lotz, love Sarah Lance. A lot of love going on in this video. Now, I don't know whose idea it was to have Sarah wind up on the island of Lian Yu in the flashbacks on Arrow, but they deserve all the raises. I mean, I dug her character back then and her running around kicking butt as the first Black Canary. Of course, Laura Lance was supposed to be the Black Canary eventually, and she was, albeit a very, very terrible Black Canary in the worst costume ever. Sarah is the one true Canary, at least to me. I was shocked and disgusted when she was killed off in season three and excited when they brought her back in season four. Of course, Sarah spun off onto the Legends of Tomorrow and evolved from a bloodlust crazy assassin to the captain of the time ship. It is a charming, fun-loving, talented actress who has brought so much over the years in her run as Sarah. It'd be interesting to see how she's brought back into the fold of the show, considering her sister is dead and in Earth 2, Laurel is taking her place, and there's a third Black Canary running around in Dinah Drake. But of course, who knows if she'll even have her scream after getting her throat slashed by the Star City Slayer. I'm thinking that's why Dinah doesn't scream in the Flash Fours. Or maybe it's this budget thing. Now, as long as Katie's kicking lots of butt and being her usual amazing self, it's going to be an epic team-up episode for us to enjoy, and I, for one, cannot wait. Those are some of my thoughts on the matter. More importantly, what do you guys out there think, either on uh, Katie coming back to Arrow, Margot Robbie, maybe even not being on Suicide Squad sequel, and Will Smith, confirmation that he is off the Suicide Squad sequel. It just makes me so, just so happy, so happy. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Let's converse here. Let's talk about it. My social media is below. Like, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Let's converse there, there, anywhere. I mean, let's, let's, let's geek.